What is up guys here it's your boy Kagi back at it again with the new video and in this video I'm gonna show you how the lost relics economy actually works how you can actually earn in this game So make sure you like make sure you comment without any scams and make sure you subscribe to this channel with all notifications on so I've been talking about this for a long long time in my live streams everywhere people don't understand how the uh, play to earn economy actually works in lost relics and it's understandable the main reason why the LR economy is actually not working that well right now is because of high gas fees the economy in lost relics is based on resources so you go into a dungeon you get a resource and that resource you can sell it to another player and the reason why that other player is gonna buy that resource is because because they want to complete bounties now when you complete a bounty when you complete a bounty and you turn in that resource that you bought from another player and that player earned right because you bought it from him you turn in that resource into the bounty and then once that resource resource is turned in into the bounty that resource goes back into the drop pool so it works as a currency right so once it's in the drop pool people can go into the dungeons again and actually get those resources again and then sell it to other players or use them themselves in bounties now right now those resources are not being sold that much and the reason why they're not being sold that much is because those resources their true worth is probably like five bucks ten bucks depending on the rarity of the resource right so the main problem here is that if i got a five dollar resource right i'm not i don't want to pay sixty dollars to actually transact that resource so let me give you an example of a resource that you can find in a dungeon but nobody is going to buy it because that resource it's not worth $60 gas fees because there's a bunch of that resource, right? This resource has 24,987. So if I go to the engine marketplace right now, um, you see it's a $5 resource. Great. Anybody would pay five bucks to turn it in, into a bounty. Now, people might ask themselves, why would I want to turn in resource into a bounty? What's what's in it for me, right? You get bounty coins when you complete a bounty. So with those bounty coins, you can actually get high tier weapons that are blockchain weapons that might be worth a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars, depending on what people are willing to pay for it. Remember, an economy, it's simply a belief system, right? So if people believe in the game, the worth of this items are going to keep going up depending on the rarity of those items so that's simply what it is so when people are like oh that's not worth three thousand dollars well it is worth three thousand dollars or a thousand dollars or ten dollars or a hundred dollars if people are willing to pay it everything is a belief system that's how economies work right so as you can see right here an example five dollars you click buy boom okay i'll pay five dollars to turn it into a bounty and then get bounty coins but paying sixty dollars for that five dollar item nobody's gonna do it therefore since nobody's gonna do it that resource will not go back into the drop pool right the drop pool means that when you go you go into a dungeon right you have a chance of getting this resource but this resource in particular has twenty four thousand. 987 that means that the chances of you getting this resource is actually quite high now there are other resources now let's take a look at this resource right here this is a higher tier resource legendary and there's only 333 so if you have a bounty that is telling you a hey, turn in this resource right here so you can get this bounty coins um you're gonna have to go and buy it from somebody else now how much is this resource it's probably higher than the other one there you go it's 400 dollars now but if i want to finish that bounty i'm gonna gonna have to pay those $400 right and that's where the play to earn economy works now when I pay those $400 and I put it back into the drop pool you as a player you as a new player right or an old player doesn't matter you have the chance of getting that resource again and either using it in your bounty or selling it to another player so it's an economy that keeps going because once I use it it goes back into the drop pool and it just keeps going and going and going and going all right guys so let me actually show you visually how these bounties actually work guys i gave you the theory now let me show you the bounties now if i go to this little guy right here i can actually start a bounty so right now i already have a bounty which is this one right here so this bounty is asking me for all these elements and in return that bounty is gonna give me 2420 bounty coins now what can you do with those bounty coins you can go to the exchange right here and then you could buy uh relics that are blockchain relics some of them and weapons now these relics right here are not blockchain relics but they are virtual relics meaning that if you actually claim those relics and you die in a dungeon you lose them 
So if you go into a dungeon, make sure, make sure that you know what you're doing, even if you claim those, right? But like you see right here, this is a blockchain weapon right here. It's a very rare blockchain weapon. I think this weapon is going to go for a lot of money. So people are willing to pay for those resources to actually complete their bounties so they can get this weapon. Why? Because this weapon is a rare weapon that actually can go for 3, 4, 5k. Who knows? The, the actual amount, I don't know. I don't know. But there are weapons. I sold a weapon the other day for $8,000, right? Um, it was in the same tier as this weapon so if you actually look at this it has 40 percent chance to slow enemy movement and attack speed of 50 percent for five seconds that is insane so this weapon is not only rare this weapon is not only in a higher tier it also has abilities within the weapons so people want this weapon and there's only 10 of those in the bounties there's a total of 247 but the developer what he does is that some of them he puts it in the bounty exchange some of them he puts it for the drop some of them he might be selling it for in-game gold yes you can actually get weapons um, sometimes when the developer decides um, he puts it in another exchange within the game I'm gonna show you that and you can pay with in-game gold so if you're a gold grinder and you're not actually spending any money in the game you can actually have a chance to get blockchain items and the developer gives the ability for everybody to actually claim this type of things the value of these items is not only the rarity it's not only the the tier of the weapon it's not only the type of weapon it is it's not only the effects that it has but it's how hard it is to get so that's why there's people that are willing to pay for your time if you spend two months grinding to get this weapon or another weapon or another blockchain item they're willing to pay you for the time that you spend and that's why you put how much your time is worth. If you grind it for two months, three months to get a rare weapon, right? And you got lucky, you got it, you grind it, right? Somebody's willing to pay for that most of the time, right? And that's why somebody bought it from, from me the other day, $8,000. Because he was willing to pay for that and not grind to get it, right? So that is where the play to earn economy is at. Some people are lost, like, oh my God, it's pay to win. No, the reason why you can earn is because somebody's willing to pay for the weapon that you grinded your ass for. So that is where the play to earn economy works. And that's how play to earn will work for every single game that is play to earn, like true play to earn, right? People are willing to pay for your time. And that is why there is this idea of pay to win, but that, that, that idea doesn't exist in blockchain because blockchain games are trying to simulate real life economies. In real life, you pay for everything. You pay for everything. You pay for other people's time, whether it's a service, whether it's an actual item that people produce. That's how it works. And blockchain games are going to work the same way. <clears throat> now, let me show you the second economy right here. So as I told you, you can actually get blockchain items with gold. And if you go to this little thing right here, sometimes the developer puts um, different weapons. This one are not blockchain weapons, I believe. Are they blockchain weapons? No, they're not blockchain weapons, but sometimes the other day he put an actual blockchain weapon, a mythical weapon. He put it right here. It was going for 1.5 million gold. So also, if you go to outfits right here, this is a blockchain outfit. This is a super rare blockchain outfit. There's like 200 and something of these outfits, uh, 250, and you can get it with gold, in-game gold. So that means that if you grind for gold, you have a rare blockchain item that you can sell later on. So yeah, there is a way to earn in this game through items not only with the resources that I showed you and you might be asking yourself okay how do I increase my gold amount now we're gonna go to the Emporium in the Emporium you can sell your virtual items um, for gold so right here if we go to the Emporium we can sell here in the Emporium virtual items for gold so now that we're in the Emporium we click on this guy and you can sell your virtual items for gold and you might be asking yourself why are people paying for this items right this virtual items for in-game gold it's very simple you know like any other game in the past potions food um relics virtual relics weapons that are virtual that means that if they're virtual within the game they're called virtual um that means that if you die you lose them so there is an economy with gold fishing rods there's all kinds of things that you can sell for gold and increase your gold amount so when the developer actually puts a weapon, a skin or something in the gold exchange that I just showed you, then you can actually go and buy them. And then later on, maybe a month down the line, two months down the line, somebody might want that actual um, item or clothing, whatever it is, and somebody might want to pay for that. So that's where you play 
to earn as well within the gold economy as well so there you have it guys now the game is going into jump net very very soon in the next few weeks there's not going to be any gas fees and when that happens trust me this economy is going to blow up and it's just going to go 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 so there you guys have it i'll see you guys next video thank you for so much for watching i appreciate it so much i hope you got some value out of this video if you did make sure you like make sure you comment without any scams and make sure you subscribe to this channel with all notifications on you already know no nft no play baby i'll see you guys next video peace